In the early days of the COVID-19 crisis, several cruise ships were floating hotspots as the virus spread on board. But for American crew members like Ezra Freeman, the saga is far from over. Ezra, hi, can you do video? Oh, there you are. We caught up with her over a sometimes dodgy video connection. She's an entertainer for Princess Cruises. She took a gig in the beginning of March and has been at sea ever since. The last day that I stepped on land was March 10th. And when do you think this will be over? When will you be able to get off the ship? There's really no way of knowing. In mid-March, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control announced a no-sale order for cruise ships. Passengers disembarked and the industry has largely shut down. You walk into our room. Um, this is what you're going to see. This is what we're all living in right now. Freeman says no crew members on her ship have contracted the coronavirus, but several did become ill with the flu. Since then, they are largely confined to their cabins. This is indefinite. We will be in self-isolation until we leave the ship. Crew members from many countries have returned home, but about 60 Americans from the Princess fleet have been moved using these small boats to a single ship, which has been meandering around the Caribbean. America on three. One, two, three. But I don't think anyone expected that I would still be here in the middle of the Bahamas. CDC rules say that for U.S. crew members like Freeman to enter the country, the cruise line must provide private airline travel to their final destination. They cannot stay in hotels or use taxis or ride-sharing services along the way or have any contact with the public. But the CDC has placed what I would consider very unreasonable restrictions on actually letting us in. In a statement to CGTN, Princess Cruises says it is working with the CDC to modify these restrictions and adds, We are deeply committed to reuniting our shipboard team members with their families safely and continue to make progress with arranging travel to their home countries. In a statement, the CDC confirms it is working on revised plans, but defends the current requirements, saying, CDC has an obligation to ensure that disembarkations do not harm or threaten public health. I don't blame Princess at all for not signing this. I blame the CDC for putting such ridiculous restrictions on. When we've been getting our temperatures checked twice a day, we haven't had any outside contact in two months. We're not going to get the virus on board. We're going to get it at home if we're going to get it. We just want to go home. What's the first thing you're going to do when you step on land again? I'll probably hug the earth, and then I want to just like plant a garden, feel connected to the fact that the earth exists beyond the sea. And Ezra Freeman adds that despite the ordeal, she'll be back at work on the high seas as soon as possible. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Bethesda, Maryland.